Hello everyone, welcome back to SBR Pythons. I hope you're keeping well. Today we've got another egg pulling video. Um, we've got two clutches to pull today. Um, I've not been keeping on top of these. It's not something I'm looking to regularly do, but I thought I've got two clutches of eggs, um, some exciting pairings. So I thought, why not get the old GoPro out and, and see what we've got? So um, I'll show you the, the parents. Um, if Obviously you'll see the, the mums on the eggs, but what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the dads. Um, and then yeah, we'll just take a look and see how many eggs we've uh, managed to sort of have from these females. Um, and go from there talking about what the plans are really and why I've done these pairings. So the first pairing was this pastel desert ghost pied that is still possible het cryptic. Obviously we didn't prove him out earlier this year, but again, just this stunning boy, which I've shown you guys before uh, in the previous egg pulling video I done. So pastel desert ghost pied pos het cryptic, and he has gone to one of my production from 2020, I believe this, wrong, <laughs> wrong tub, uh, from 2020, I believe this girl was from um, which is this really nice female, which I've, yeah, I like this girl a lot. Um, so that is an orange dream, yellow belly, enchi, calico, het pied. So he should make some really nice pied combos. And then if she proved out to be het for clown and he proved out to be het for cryptic, we had a chance for kryptons. Not sure if he's going to prove out. So who knows? Um, I will be sending a shed test off for this girl to find out more anyway. So that is the first pairing. And then the second pairing is, and this boy is in shed, but again, uh, another two animals that were produced here at SBR Pythons. So if I just grab this boy out for you, he isn't shed, but we've got Orange Dream Clown Pied. So a really nice male that I produced. And then he has gone to a Orange Dream Pied that is 50% het for clown, which is this girl up in here. Again, I produced this girl myself. Um, so obviously there we're trying to shoot for a super orange dream clown pied. So the goal will be a super orange dream clown pied male. And quite frankly, I just want to make more calico pieds that will be het for Desert Ghost. So what we'll do is we'll start with this female orange dream pied 50% het clown because she was actually due to lay first. So she is on day 33 post lay shed. Um, so we'll just see exactly what she's got. I don't anticipate a huge clutch from this girl. Let's have a look. What are you hiding there, girl? So is she empty? Yes, she's completely empty. So standard process, guys, nothing's changing here. All I'm gonna do is just weigh this female. So she is bang on 1,200 grams post lay. So you can see, as I say, pull her up there for you guys. Hopefully it's not too light exposed, but orange dream pied, 50% head clown. She'll go into a lukewarm bath of water whilst we just, and I'll flip the camera around here so you guys can see just what I'm doing down the bottom here, hopefully, just like that. Uh, so we've got two, four, five good eggs and a slug. So as I say, always weigh my slugs just so I know exactly what the full clutch weighs. Uh, I'm going to assume this isn't a very big clutch. 440 grams. So yeah, that's not a huge clutch, um, but definitely done the job. Let's move that a little bit, maybe more so you can see. Uh, you can sort of see what I'm doing. All I'm going to do is now get the egg tub out of the incubator. Uh, not a tutorial at all, it's just what I do. Pretty happy with five eggs. That gives me five chances to try and prove her out as a het clown. Obviously, if she is het for clown, I should have two to three clown pies, and it's just that orange dream clown, that uh, super orange dream clown pie that I'm really shooting for here. Um, it would be fantastic to upgrade the dad in this clutch effectively, and then have obviously all supers moving forward. So let's just separate these eggs. She laid these. When did she lay these? I think I caught her on two eggs this morning. So yeah, we've got veins here. So that's a healthy egg. I'll tell you what, let me bring this down a bit further so you guys can see. Just a little smidge. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Let's have a look. Got a boob egg here. Not a massive boo, but it is a boob egg. These are fairly stuck together considering she only laid them this morning. Uh, let's have a look. Is this healthy egg? Yes, and there is an embryo. Happy days, five eggs is a, uh, yeah, probably what I would expect from that sort of size girl. I think she was about just under two kilos when she, uh, when she laid, so third egg with healthy veins. Happy days, looks like it's gonna be a decent clutch here. I think the average is supposed to be six eggs for a bull python. I can't remember if that's true or not, so. About, about average anyway. Uh, yeah, that's a fifth with strong veins. So in theory, this last one should have strong veins as well. And it has. So five good eggs there from Orange Dream Pied, 50% Het Clown uh, to Orange Dream Clown Pied. Let's see what comes out of that. 
Um, I'll pop these away, give her a clean up, and then we'll get on to the second clutch. So we'll now move on to female number two, which is the Orange Dream Yellow Belly Calico Enchi Pet Pie Posset Clown. Um, I will caveat that this girl is possibly fire two. Um, so after proving out that her mum turned out to be a fire as well in a previous clutch this year, this girl I believe could now be fire as well. I had hoped for a bigger clutch from this girl because she is a bigger girl, um, but it looks to be the same just from immediate looking at. She is empty, so we'll just see what she's weighing in at post lay. So post laying, she's coming in at 1,935 grams, which is a great weight to be at before even going into next year's season, um, which she'll then be looking to go to, what have I got her down for next year? I don't even know. I'd have to look at my pairings, but I have worked my pairings out for next year, but I can't remember exactly. So um, looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five again. Five eggs and one slug. You can see the slug is right at the bottom of that lot. Um, I'll pop that over there, bring you guys around. I'm getting the hang of this now, look. Uh, so this clutch is actually smaller, 377 grams. Interesting. I really thought that this would be the bigger clutch of the two, but it's five eggs on each. So you can't complain too much. Uh, let's get rid of that slug. Bang on the same eggs and slugs, eh? Very interesting. Not what I expected at all. But nonetheless, five chances at my calico pies, which is ultimately what I really want to hit. So uh, again, we'll separate these eggs out. These were laid today. She was on day 29. So if you're looking at the day 30 rule, this girl was slightly early. The previous girl was slightly late. Um, I don't necessarily think there's much in that 30 day rule. Um, I'd have to look at my statistics, but I don't actually know of many females that did lay on day 30. But anyway, uh, apologies, you guys are looking at my uh, hopefully not bald spot that's coming in that I've just had a look at on the camera. <laughs> oh dear. Right, almost separated these. Figured it's easier to just separate them all. These are coming apart a lot easier because I know this girl laid later. So that's a healthy egg. That's a healthy egg. Not big eggs. Oh, ring of death, I believe. Yeah, ring of death. So that one won't make it. So we'll just pop that aside. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Oh dear. Oh, bugger me. Two rings of death. Not good. Not good at all. So it looks like we're going to have three hatchlings coming out of that. So ring of death for anyone that doesn't know um, is basically, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you, so if you guys can see that, no, nah, the lighting's just not going to expose it. Basically, there is an embryo in there, but there's absolutely no veins attached to it. So therefore, I don't expect that baby to hatch. So it looks like it'll be three eggs. I'll put it down as five for my own records, and it'll probably just have to go down as two infertile. But yeah, unfortunately, three eggs at my Calico Pies Het for DG. Who knows if there's any cryptons or anything like that going on. Whatever, we'll see. If I get that girl shed tested and she proves out to be Het Clown, these will be 50% Het Clown too anyway. But... Yeah, a little bit gutted about that because I really thought that the, the bigger female was going to have more eggs, but it is what it is. So I will flip this camera back up if I can work it out. I can't. I'll just do a, a selfie video. So there we go, guys. Um, five eggs, as I say, three that look like they're going to hatch and then five in here from the potentially super orange dream clown pie clutch. Not the best result, if I'm honest. I really thought I was going to get at least uh, sort of 12 eggs from the two clutches, but it is what it is. We'll see what comes out of it. I only need one Super OD Clown Pied and one Calico Pied Het Clown really to be happy. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. That is uh, what I thought was going to be the final two clutches of the year. Um, but a little bit of a sneak peek, and I don't know what you're seeing. This girl uh, ovulated the other day, which shocked me. Uh, I really thought I was done. I stopped pairing two months ago. But OD Special Pied Posset Clown to a Pastel Clown Posset Pied. So just trying to prove some Possets out. We'll see what happens. But thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope your seasons are going well, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.